Now taking a look over the hardware information which we have on this device, the processor is ARM V7 processor clocked at 1.1 GHz you can say approximately. You have a quad core processor or you can also say it is a 1.2 GHz quad core processor. Uh, the cores are 4 and then we have the Qualcomm MSM 8226 which is the chipset on this device and when we take a look over the display resolution the display resolution is 720 to 1280 and then we have Adreno 305 GPU on this device and the sensors which are there on this device is the accelerometer sensor magnetic sensor is also there you have proximity light auto rotation and orientation sensor as well on this device here we have got the score on quadrant standard for this device. The total score for this device is 8170 which is an impressive, impressive score I would say as compared to the other devices which we have over here. It is above all other devices in terms of the overall score and this is how the detail score look like for this device. The CPU is 30205, the memory is 3343, input output operation is 4553, 2D is 350 and if we take a look over the score for the 3D it is 2400 and the score which we have got for this device on NT2 is again better than the grand which we have seen earlier the score for this device is 16476 as you can see if we take a look over the detail score this is how the detail score look like for this device for UX CPU RAM and GPU and input and output of operations and when it comes to the comparison let me just show you this device in comparison to the other devices this is where the device ranks in between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and Google Nexus 4 in terms of the overall benchmark score this position is again not too good but slightly okay for a device like this which comes for a price of around 22 to 23 thousand in rupees but again you can actually we actually expected a better score on this device as far as the entry to score is concerned but still the overall performance of the device is pretty good uh, if we ignore this benchmark score the overall performance of this device is much better than grand and it is also much better than other devices which are there in the similar price segment when we talk about nina mark this device has got one of the best score or you can say best score I would say uh, when it comes to the devices which is there available in this price segment it has got 56.2 fps which is again a pretty good score and this device is capable of handling heavy graphic intensive games like Modern Combat 4 Frontline Commando D-Day is also uh, running on this device without any issues when it comes to other heavy games like Nova 3 that can also be played on this device without any problem. So in terms of the overall gaming performance this device is pretty good. You can also play casual games like Temple Run OZ, Subway Surfer we will test and let you know but you can play Temple Run OZ on this device without any issues. On multi-touch scenario it supports 5 point multi-touch. Now to show you the overall responsiveness of this device we are playing this casual game called Temple Run OZ. In terms of the graphics there is no lag which we can notice. The touchscreen is also pretty responsive it is almost an instant response which we are getting from the touchscreen when we are playing this game. So in terms of graphics as well as the touchscreen response this game is running pretty fine without any issues. There is no frame drops as well which we can notice as of now on this device while playing this game. And the sensors on the device are also working well including the gravity sensor as you can see. Now we are playing this game called Frontline Commando D-Day and this is a kind of a medium graphic intensive game so you can get an idea about the overall quality of gaming on this device. In terms of the overall response from the touch screen there is no lag of any kind. There is also no frame drops which we can notice while playing this game. So the overall gaming experience on this device till now is pretty smooth I would say. There is no lag of any kind and the touch screen is also pretty responsive to the finger touch. And graphics are also loading fine on this device as you can see. So you can play this game without any issues without any kind of frame drops or any kind of graphic lag.